damn this son of a bitch is loud let's see we'll open the door in here so I don't crash it unfortunately it's on the clutch side anyway good morning ladies and germs or good evening or good afternoon whatever time you see this video I just finished work worked overnight I switched back again to the overnight and uh, a lot of people hate overnight but I have no issues with the overnight I got no issues with overnight like a lot of people who work during the day like let's say 9 to 5 so instead of working 9 to 5 you sleep 9 to 5 or like in this case it's 7 12 I'll be home by 7 30 I can go to sleep now for like let's say from 8 a.m. until 2 p.m. and then the whole day it's mine afterwards I can do stuff or I can do the opposite I can stay until 2 p.m. awake and then do stuff and then go to sleep for like 2 2 30 until 9 ish 9 p.m. 9 at night I started 11 o'clock at night so anyway it's not that bad for me anyway This guy is in a hurry, it looks like. Let's avoid this fucker. Let's avoid this clown. Hey, you're reversing into me. starting to get nice although I've been riding the whole year I even rode in the snow it wasn't fun I tell you that much I have no experience riding in the snow but that doesn't mean that I didn't try and I think since then I think that was a bad idea to be honest like riding in the snow and the slippery conditions it was a bad idea because since then I think I have a kind of nightmares I think the bike is gonna slide every time I turn riding in slippery conditions like wet road and stuff like that because I slide a few times not went down but you know I lose front grip although completely comfortable with the bike bike like you know straighten itself but you know I had like you know some dodgy moments especially at the Queens Borough Bridge coming from Queens to Manhattan on the higher level on the top level when there's those turns that you do the pirouette thing like pew pew thingy you do the spins there is those turns there is metal brackets in between the bridge on the turn so if you lean the bike too much and it's wet uh, trust me it's not a fun experience at that moment especially if you try to go a little bit faster and trying to lean the bike like let's say like you go 40 miles an hour I know it's fast but try and go 30 40 you lose the front end a little bit on this bike especially So yeah, kind of not fun. I do trust this boy, this one though. I do trust him a lot. Gotta catch the lights in here. Like leaning the bike like this, for example, and eh, especially 21 inches. As a front tire, it's not that stable. He's coming quick and it's green.
land did these fuckers came from? Like in the winter time under that under the, the other bridge, full of water, ice completely because the sun doesn't catch in here. Yes, she was full of ice. I let the bike do itself. I didn't steer at all, the bike was just went straight. I had a moment over there actually, I almost cheered myself. Boop. But anyway, it's a, it's a it's a short ride to go home. Hey, the TV screw it's out. I mean, the TV crew it's out. We we. He's turning. He's being a good boy. I really want to go home to be honest I know what I'm doing to start with but I want to go home as quickly as possible I was sleepy all night actually I almost fell asleep at work around 5ish 5.30ish didn't sleep much mini meets tea thing so he's being cranky lately I'm not sleeping much his mom not sleeping much we're not sleeping much so Thousand four delayed red seven. Let's go. Usually here there's cameras or during the weekdays you get fucked because of the school zone. I think Saturdays and Sundays they uh, they tone it down and they finally remove the cones in here. This shoe was half blocked. Cops following? No. Okay. Ooh, vir vir uh, vagina. There you go. We made it in pieces. Uh. 
I'll see you in, in a few hours. <laughs> and you too. Bye.